Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, happy first day of spring. Um, I wanted to do a quick... Whoa, sorry about that lighting. I think I think airplane just flew over my house. Um, anyways, back on track. <laughs> so I wanted to do a quick video. Um, hopefully it's quick, depending on how much talking I'm doing. But um, on this idea that I have for this channel for um, this season, which is spring. And that is spring cleaning. So... Our basement is pretty much almost done. All we need to do is finish painting. Um, one wall is left, but it's a long wall. So it's pretty much half the basement it needs to be painted. And then we have to finish um, tearing up the floor and then putting the carpet down. But those built-ins have already been torn down and the drywall and stuff has already been put up on that. So that was the major part, the messy part that took a long time. So that's done. Now we just have to kind of finish the foundation, you know, of the basement. And then I can start moving in my stuff. So that kind of led me to this idea of, you know, spring cleaning so I can start, you know, cleaning that stuff out and moving it in and getting rid of things. Um, and what I wanted to do was like kind of vlog type videos. Um, I hope that's okay with you guys, but I think that would be easier and it would kind of help um, get the feeling, I guess, of the videos I'm trying to get across to you guys. And so with that, the videos I wanted to do are like how I'm going to organize my patterns how I'm going to organize um, and store notions and project organization and then <laughs> storing my fabric stash. Um, and I'm sorry why I'm laughing at this. I'm just thinking about how much fabric that I have. It has grown immensely. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of what I mean and how much it, it's grown. Um, I had all the stuff I brought with me from Texas. And then when we got here, it's been, like I said, in the negatives. It's been snowing. It's been cold. It's not something I want to be outside in. So I've been cooped up, you know, in the house, hanging out in my bed with all my dogs. Because I'm, like, trying to take their body heat so I could be warm. Right? And with that came online shopping, you know, watching YouTube and seeing everything that you all have been making, you know, on YouTube and Instagram. And thinking, wow, that's really cute. So I go out and buy that fabric and that pattern. And then I've been traveling for training, you know, and so with that, I want to like go check out the local fabric stores, and of course I'm just like making your, I'm just going to go look, right, I'm not going to buy anything, I'm just going to look, see, you know, what they have, and no, I tempt myself, and I, my wallet ends up losing every time, right, so I end up buying stuff from there, and I actually have like a couple stories, you know, about that, so I went to Colorado, I had to go to the Altitude Chamber, only had to be there for two days, right, so I only bring a duffel bag with me and I come home with a rolly luggage <laughs> because I bought fabric and I needed to get it home somehow so I came home my husband picked me from the airport and he was like did you leave with this roller bag I thought you left with something smaller and I was like no I brought this with me and I kind of like try to like you know just play it off nonchalantly right but he knew what I had done because I was trying to like sneakily unpack my luggage and he came in and he saw the fabric and I was like <laughs> So that was one trip where I bought fabric. And then my second trip, man, yeah, I, I kind of already was prepared. I knew I was going to buy fabric. So I brought, you know, luggage that was bigger than what I needed. So I had, you know, a way to get, you know, just a couple things of fabric home. And, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, please don't judge me on this story. This is a judgment-free zone, okay? So I had just gone through SEER training, and I'm like, you know what? That was very difficult and was really hard and it was, you know, it was awful. So I'm going to, you know, reward myself for doing, like, getting through this because I did not think I was going to get through this. And even going through it, I would have to sit there and just be like, I'm not going to finish this training. This is so hard, right? So anyways, I go to the local fabric store and I loved this place, right? It was amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to put a link um, to that store. So if you ever find yourself in Spokane, Washington, go check that place out because it's amazing. And you'll see what I'm talking about, how awesome it is. Um, so they have like a whole, a whole section, like a huge room, right? It's dedicated to like yarn. So if you guys are into knitting, there's like a whole yarn section. Um, sorry if you guys can hear some chewing. It's my dog Pepper. She's chewing on her bone. Okay, anyways. And their apparel section was fantastic. Like, this store, I love this store because it wasn't just, like, you know, a Joanne or a Hobby Lobby. Like, they had legit nice fabrics. Really, not that, you know, Hobby Lobby and Joanne don't have nice fabrics, but you get what I'm saying. Like, it's a different feeling. So, I walk in there, and I start piling stuff up on the cutting table. 
And um, so she cuts them, and then um, they're gonna give me a military discount, right? So, but they had already ran my um, debit card through before they could give me the discount. And um, they're like, okay, well, we'll refund you, you know, what your discount was going to be. And I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's fine, that doesn't bother me. So I get home the next day, <laughs> right, with this heavy luggage that is full of fabric. And anyway, so I get home the next day, and um, they call me, and they're like, "Hey, we're gonna we're having problems with our new system. Um, it won't let us, you know, refund to your card. So we're gonna send you a check." And I was like, oh, "Okay, you know," which is really nice of them. They didn't have to do that, but they did. And my husband's like, "They're mailing you back like your discount. Like, how much fabric did you buy?" And I was just like, mm, "Not a lot." And he was like, "Well, how much is the check for?" And I was like, "It's fifty dollars, you know, for discount." He was like, fifty dollars," and he's like. So even with a 10% discount, and he like, you can see him doing the math, he's like, you bought $500 worth of fabric? And I was just like, oh, that's right, you could do math. And I just kind of like looked at him like, sorry babe, but I mean, I had no self-control, right? So yeah, so as you can see, that $500 shopping spree, what I bought in Colorado, and then all the stuff I've been buying online over the course of four months of boredom and being stuck in the house. My fabric stash is probably twice the size of what it was when we moved here. Oh my gosh. Right. So anyways, that's what led me to um, this challenge that I wanted to start. Um, and I think I might have started this. I don't know if it's been done before and I apologize if it has. You guys can let me know if it's already been done that way. I'm not thinking, you know, this is something new. <laughs> but, um... I have this idea to do a challenge that I'm going to call um, Sew My Stash. And what that is, the first 30 days of spring, so today, March 20th through April 19th, you can only sew garments or projects like pillows or totes or any, anything like sewing related. You can only use fabric from your stash. And um, I'd really like you guys, you know, to join me in this adventure to kind of like you know keep me on track and uh, maybe you guys have fabric stash that you have to sew through as well I mean I can't be the only one with this <laughs> fabric buying problem right I hope I'm not the only one but anyways I'm gonna um if you guys are on Instagram use the hashtag um, I'm gonna put it put it down here too so you can see sew my stash 2018 and that way I can kind of like you know keep up with you guys and you guys can keep up with me um I'm not going to have any prizes for this challenge, um, just because, like, you know, it's just me. I've never done anything like this before, and I'm not really sure how many people are going to participate, but I'd really like if you guys would participate. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, pretty much, like, a long, you know, eight-minute story <laughs> to do, like, a 30-second, you know, synopsis of what I, you know, wanted to do. So, um... So going into spring, all the majority of my videos are going to be vlog type videos of like spring cleaning um, for the sewing room and then sew my stash, which is the first 30 days, March 20th through April 19th, only making items using fabric from your stash. And I'm, hopefully this will like kind of kickstart me to start getting into my fabric and then fingers crossed I can make it through all of spring and maybe into summer not buying any more fabric and just sewing what I have because it's a lot. It's becoming a problem. Our house is like becoming just a fabric store. I've become one with the fabric <laughs> pretty much. So um, yeah, all right. Pepper. Sorry, see she's chewing on her Nyla bone. If you guys have dogs, by the way, Nyla bones are amazing. Especially if they like to chew like my dogs, you should get these. These things are fantastic. They love them. She's like staring at me because I have her bone now. Okay, um, yeah, you can get this back in a minute. So, uh, all right, so before the video gets too long, I'm just going to end it here. Uh, wish me luck. Hopefully I can get through all this, and I really hope to see you guys um, do this challenge with me. And Oh, look, see, so you look. <laughs> okay, you can have it back. She's crazy. Okay, sorry, I'm distracted. The dogs are distracting me. Um, leave a comment below if you guys also have a fabric buying problem as well and if you have any funny stories um, for um, buying fabric because I'd love to hear them. And uh, put your Instagram, if you guys are on Instagram, please uh, follow me and then put your Instagram username below so I can follow you guys back. And then if you like this kind of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 
um, and hit subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys around. Alright, bye!